Hey, what's up guys? Herman here, Monster Gadgets. And yes, from the title, you guys can tell I just purchased a Tesla Model X. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my buying experience so far and why I decided to purchase one. So let's get set up and dive right in. All right guys, so let me break it down as to why I purchased the Model X. I've owned a Infiniti QX56, which you guys have seen in my previous videos for many years. It's a 2007 model and I've had it for about eight years, nine years maybe, something like that. Um, and it's been a great car. It, there's been some issues with it, but luckily it was under warranty and I was able to get some things fixed. But it's got around 130,000 miles or 40,000 miles on it. So it's getting up there in miles. And I thought it's, it's about time for me to go ahead and purchase a new car. So. I've been looking at Teslas for some time now and I almost purchased one actually last week and I went online and did some research and turns out there were rumors about Tesla refreshing their Model X and Model S. So with that being said, I had been in contact with an agent from Tesla and of course I asked him and he couldn't tell me and I don't blame him. Uh, but he said, you know, basically, yes, there are some rumors going out there and there should be some update coming up. So I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll just wait and see until maybe end of this month and the next month and then go ahead and purchase once to do the refresh because I don't want to buy an older, older unit. So on April 23rd, they finally announced that yes, Tesla will do a refresh on the Model S and the Model X. And let's go ahead and look at those real quick as to what that refresh is. All right. So here's the update on Tesla's website. I'll go ahead and um, leave a link down below so you guys can go check it out yourself. But basically, you know, some of the differences with the new upgrade is uh, a better efficient design, uh, which basically gives it 10% improvement in range, uh, as well as improving its zero to 60 time for the long range and standard range models. Uh, they did go back and now offer the standard range, which they were not offering for a while. So now they have standard mode, long range and performance. Uh, in addition to this upgrade, they also did an upgrade on the charging. Now it's able to achieve 200 kilowatts on the version 3 superchargers, which they will be putting out more and more and upgrading the version 2. Um, so together, these improvements combine recharge the customer miles by 50% faster. Now these are obviously huge, but also they upgraded the adaptive suspension, which uses air suspension system, and the car is able to fully adapt by the damping. So depending on how fast you're going and which situation you're driving in, it'll just the damping of the car automatically, which also makes a huge difference when it comes to uh, range. And then um, I love the fact that they continue to offer something different for their loyal customers who have purchased a Tesla in the past. And if you want to upgrade to the new Model S or Model X, they will give the ludicrous mode for free, which is a $20,000 value, which is pretty awesome. So um, you guys can go check this out. I'll go ahead and link uh, this website below. It's a Tesla website. So you guys can go check that out and read up on it yourself. But let me go ahead and show you my order as well so you guys know what I ordered. So I'm going to blur some of these out, but basically uh, I ordered the Model X with the performance. I'm not sure if I want to go with the ludicrous mode yet or not, and I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. Uh, I did upgrade the rims to the 20-inch rims, um, and if you upgrade to the black spoke rims, it actually decreases your range from 325 to to 250 I'm sorry 270 so that's a big hit for just having really cool rims and let's take a look at what that looks like so let me go to Tesla's website and so here is we're gonna do a custom order so I'll show you guys real quick what that looks like so again they have the standard range long range and performance um, I'm gonna go with the performance this is again what I ordered I did not add the ludicrous mode on there which if you do, it is, increases your acceleration by 20%. So if you don't have it, it's 3.4 seconds, zero to 60 with ludicrous mode is 2.7. So um, here is the rim option that they have. And I went with these rims, the 20 inch two-tone as compared to um, the oxy black wheel. So as you guys can see, this drops the EPA range to 270 miles as compared to, I'm sorry, the 305 miles, I think I said 325 before, but 305. So that's still a big, you know, decrease in miles, even though these look sick on especially the white, uh, I think these look fairly decent, but I don't want to take a hit of the miles loss with these rims as compared to these. So that's kind of what I went with. So that's what I ordered. And uh, as of right now, it looks like my delivery date's going to be in May, but let me go ahead and jump out of my screen here so I can tell you 
why I made the decision that I did. All right, now that we're out of the computer, so one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Tesla Model X was because of obviously it being an electric car. As I mentioned before, I have Infiniti QX56, which I absolutely love, but it is a complete gas guzzler. I, on the city, I average about 11 to 12 miles if I drive nicely, uh, which isn't a whole lot, but realistically, I average like 10 miles per gallon, which is terrible. Uh, on the highway, if I'm driving on the highway, of course, if I stick between 55 and 60, which, I mean, who drives 55 and 60, right? I'll average like 15 or 16 miles per gallon, but going the average speed limit, which is about 70, 75, maybe 80, okay. Um, I'll go that fast, and of course, I average like 13, 14 miles even on the highway. So it is a gas guzzler, and I spend a lot of money, obviously, refilling the tank every week. So I thought the money that I'm using, that I'll be saving on just gas itself, and I drive a lot. I drive anywhere between 15 to 18, maybe even 20,000 miles a year. And so if you do the calculations, if I'm putting in premium gas at roughly about 350 per gallon and it's got a 23 gallon tank, yeah, that's a lot of money per fill up. So I figured if I go, I'm investing a lot more upfront for the Tesla Model X, but it's gonna be obviously environmental friendly, number one. Uh, my wife is an environmental scientist, so that's huge. She'll love that. Um, but not only would I save on gas, but I'll save on um, the, the environment itself. So I'll be helping the environment and things like that. So the other reason why I wanted to purchase the Model X was obviously for the safety. It is, it's got one of the best safety ratings by any car ever. So safety is huge. As you guys know, I have kids, and so safety is also a huge factor. That's the reason why I bought the QX56 originally, just because it's a massive car and um, when it really comes down to it, you know, it God forbid if we're in an accident, am I gonna be safer in a smaller car versus a bigger car? Yes, the bigger car, right? So that's why I went with a tank of a car. Uh, but now that Tesla is gonna be a little bit smaller, but also it's got a great safety rating, I decided to go ahead and pull the plug and get that car. So I'm gonna leave a couple of the links below. You guys can go check that out. Uh, I used the calculator to figure out how much savings I would have over the course of six years or seven years, however long I own the car, which really helped me decide as to why it was worth an upgrade for me. It is a very expensive car, no doubt. Sorry about that. It is a very expensive car, no doubt, but I think overall uh, in six, seven years, eight years, it's gonna pay for itself if I had kept the QX56 for an additional five or six years with the added benefit of helping the environment, safety, of course, the technology, the auto drive and things like that, that's huge. So why not go ahead and invest in it now and um, and have those features versus sticking with a normal gasoline car or even upgrading the QX56 to another QX80 or another bigger SUV. So let me go ahead and, and break down the, the actual process you go through online. So I literally went online and I went to Tesla's website. I designed my car. I went and created an, an online account and I saved it. The minute I saved it and I had not made the payment yet, literally within 20 minutes, I had a Tesla rep call me and I couldn't take the call at that time. So he texted me and said, hey, my name is such and such and I'll be glad to help you go through the ordering process. I see you had ordered, you know, you created a Tesla Model X order. And so this guy, by the way, I mean, this agent has been awesome. I mean, the minute I text him, he texts me back right away. And if he doesn't, he'll come back and say, I apologize, I was in a break or I apologize, I was with a customer, but what can I help you with? And he is like snappy, like he's on it. So anyways, he's helped me through the process. And once I created the car, I asked him some questions. He was able to answer those for me. I went online, made the payment, uh, the, the deposit of basically ordering the car. And then it's gonna give you a few different menus to go through to basically do the registration and set up for delivery. So the setup for delivery, I've not done yet, but I gotta set up the registration today. But it's really been such a simple process. I mean. I have every other car that I bought, of course, I went to a dealership to buy, and this car, I have not driven a Model X yet. So I'm really kind of looking forward to actually driving it, uh, but it's been such an awesome process. You literally just go online, you create it, you make a deposit, and you're done. And this customer service that I've gotten so far has been phenomenal. So I'm super excited about the next steps from here. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be uploading my other experiences in dealing with Tesla, the delivery, of course, and everything else that goes on from here regarding this order. So if you wanna come on the journey with me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Of course, I have other videos that I do as well, but I'll do a special series for the Tesla experience, if you will. So I'm super psyched about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about my upgrade going from a QX56 to a Tesla. 
um, and I would love to see or hear what you guys have to say. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.